Hello from Cookbook Divas! My name is Carrie, and today I thought I would take a little break from exploring traditional photography cookbooks, although I love doing that, to look through Voracious with you. It's by Cara Nicoletti, and it's a hungry reader cooks her way through great books. And I love reading books! Let's see what it says. Uh, there are no pictures, really, just some little tiny illustrations, so I prefer cookbooks with photos, but I love literature so much, and this is supposedly an irresistible literary feast, so I grabbed it from my local library. This says, as a young bookworm reading in her grandfather's butcher shop, Cara Nicoletti, or Cara Nicoletti, saw how books and food bring people to life. Now a butcher, cook, and talented writer, she serves up stories and recipes inspired by beloved books and the food that gives their character's depth and personality. From the breakfast sausage in Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House in the Big Woods, to the cupcakes with petter, peppermint buttercream in Jonathan Franzen's The Corrections, these tasty treats and the books they appear in put Nicoletti on the road to happiness. So, starts off with some cherries. The publisher is Little Brown and Company. Illustrations by Marion Bolognese. This came out in 2015. Let's check out the table of contents. Part 1, Childhood, and they start off with the Little House in the Big Woods breakfast sausage and move on to Hansel and Gretel. Ooh, this will be fun. The second chapter is Adolescence and College Years. They start off with To Kill a Mockingbird Biscuits with Molasses Butter. Then we move into Adulthood, Part 3, The Bluest Eye Concord Grape Sorbet. And we end up with The Secret History Wine Braise Leg of Lamb with mild, Wild Mushrooms. So I will go back and read the preface later on. Part 1, Childhood. Let's see what we got. Little House in the Big Woods Breakfast Sausage. And she's not just throwing the recipe on the page. She's explaining about her childhood and why this book was important to her going on and on, how she developed the recipe. She works in a butcher shop, and here's the recipe. It says, breakfast sausage. Like Ms. Wilder's, this version only uses salt, sage, and loads of black pepper, but includes a healthy dose of good maple syrup, which makes all the difference in the world. So, good writing. Hansel and Gretel is a gingerbread cake with blood orange syrup. In the night kitchen, scalded and malted milk cake. And here's the recipe, and she's writing why she enjoyed Sendak's books. Nancy Drew, Double Chocolate Walnut Sundae. This is going to be really interesting to read through. I actually wasn't a Nancy Drew person, but I'm loving the whole setup for this entire book and why particular books meant a lot to her. For me, it was A Little Princess and The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, and food doesn't really favor show up in those books very much. If you give a mouse a cookie, brown butter chocolate chip cookies. I want to make this recipe. <laughs> oh, this is fun. So let me just go back to the table of contents to read you some more of what it is because it'll be easier to go that way. The Secret Garden Curd Buns. Okay, there is a little bit of food from that book. The Witch's Mussel Shrimp and Cod Stew. Uh, the Legend of Sleepy Hollow Buckwheat Pancakes. Hey, I had pancakes this morning. Streganona brings us black pepper parmesan pasta, and I'd love to hear in the comments below if any of these are some of your childhood books that you loved. Charlotte's Web brings us pea and bacon soup. Now we're going to move into adolescence and college years. The Bell Jar, crab stuffed avocados, the Catcher in the Rye, malted milk ice cream, Moby Dick clam chowder. Well, at least it's not a whale meat recipe. <laughs> uh, Les Miserables, black rye bread. Ooh, I love rye bread. Middlesex Olive Oil Yogurt Cake, Mrs. Dalloway Chocolate Eclairs, uh, let's move into Adulthood, The Hours Birthday Cake, Emma from Jane Austen, A Perfect Soft Boiled Egg, In Cold Blood Cherry Pie, <laughs> interesting, The Little Friend Peppermint Stick Ice Cream, In the Woods Chocolate Covered Digestive Biscuits, The Odyssey Red Wine Rosemary Bread, ooh yum, the Burl's Best Girlfriend You Never Had, Red Flannel Hash. And then at the end, here's page 269, it's the books that are in Voracious and the recipes they inspired, info on how she got there. 
Oh, Gone Girl. Okay, what did she do from Gone Girl? I gotta know. I gotta flip back. Brown butter crepes. Or some people would say crepes. So here's a list of all of the books that inspired this. So this is pretty cool. I definitely recommend it. I'm going to turn the camera off and go read it, curl up with a mug of tea. I'm still using a Christmas mug even though it's January. <laughs> and thanks for watching. You can see more cookbook news and info from Cookbook Divas at our blog, cookbookdivas.com. We post cookbook news to Facebook and Instagram, cookbook look-throughs to Instagram and YouTube. And we have a podcast if you like listening to news and gossip about cookbooks. Thanks so much for watching.